What's up guys, what is up, and welcome back to another video. Sorry that I could not get this video out the other day. Unfortunately, uh, the update ended up coming out a lot later than I thought. Sorry if I'm a little bit nasally, I think I'm sick for like the fifth time in the past month and a half. So that's awesome. But uh, today we're going to be showing off one of the big parts of the update. I'm going to sp be splitting the update parts uh, apart into like their main sections. And uh, the first main section is the dung beetle. So I went and spawned in this buddy. Uh, pretty much they can be found in caves. And they're... They're not too hard to kill. I mean, I could shoot a rocket at him. It'll kill him. But I think that was implied that a rocket could kill him. But I want to show you guys how to tame him as well. And show you guys his, how usable he is. And how just good he is to have around whenever you do tame him. So if you want to tame him, what you got to do is feed him poop. So we have the largest collection of poop in all of Ark right here. It's probably not the largest, but it's pretty large. And we're going to be going ahead and feeding him this poop. And hoping to tame him up. And just showing you guys how it's done. This is like one of the bugs like the Onik. Or like the bat. Or like the uh, spider. Where you cannot touch them. And you have to be wearing bug repellent. You feed them poop. And they're really tricky. Because you got to really keep your distance. Otherwise they will kind of just begin attacking you like that. Because they're kind of savages. But as long as you have the bug repellent on. You can't approach them. You wait for them to chill off a little bit. And then you go ahead and throw some poop at them. After that, just hope they eat it, and yeah, but for now, hopefully he just calms down, like, come on, Mr. Dung Beetle, no. Don't even take out your anger on me. There you go, there you go. Is he still, no, I think he's, uh, I think he's over me. Yeah, he is. Okay, so what we want to do here is approach him very slowly from behind and give him. So they're, if you don't have bug repellent on, they are aggressive. Uh, I was actually doing some tests myself. They'll attack you until they get low on health, then they will uh, kind of run away, but you want to make sure not to touch them. You want to definitely keep your distance from them. Because if you get too close, it's going to get ugly. Because they really like their space. And just when you get close enough, feed them the animal species. And voila! One large animal feces went ahead and tamed them up nice and easy. So, dung beetles are not too hard to tame at all. Just, you need some bug repellent. Which, admittedly, is not the easiest thing to get. So, they, here we have our dung beetle. Uh, they are not rideable. As, as fun as that might sound. Uh, here are his stats. You want to stop wandering there, buddy? I hate wandering. Stop wandering. Stop it. Stop. Hey, yeah, there there you go. Chill. Okay, let's access your inventory. Look at his stats a little bit. So, this is a level 22. And uh, 400 health, 120 stamina, 200 oxygen, 1,200 food. His food, of course, is none other than poop. So, whenever his food starts going down, I will do that. Although, his food isn't going down at all. So, I don't know what's up with that. It might just be single player and being glitched. Uh, here we have weight, melee damage, and movement speed. So, here is the awesome part about the dung beetle. It can turn fecal matter into oil and compost, but only when wandering. Get the hell out of here. What are you doing, compy? No, go away. Oh, no, don't attack my dung beetle. I swear to God, if you kill my dung, 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 dung beetle, dung beetle, no, don't kill him. I, I don't want to spawn in a new one, you stupid compy. Why? There you go, Procoptodon, save the day. Is he going to go collect his body? He is. My dung beetle's a carnivore. What happened to picking up the poop? What are you doing? I just knocked out a compy. Wow, impressive. I'm going to kill it now. Die, compy. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing that he just, uh, he, he collected some stuff. Wow. Yeah, he likes... Okay. <laughs> they are capable of collecting stuff, too, I guess. But anyways, as you can see, his food is starting to go down. So if we throw him some human feces, for example, potentially he'll eat it. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to be on his diet. But I'm gonna go ahead and absolutely just throw a bunch of stuff into here. Actually, I'm not gonna throw all the small animal feces, because there's a cool trick with the small animal feces that I'm hoping to be able to show off here. Uh, we've reached the max amount of weight, so if we can throw him on Wander, I should be able to show you this, uh, oh, hello, these things. Uh, you wanna get out of here? I'm not ready to poke you guys exactly. Where's my pike? I'm ready to poke him. You brought this upon yourselves. God damn it. Yeah, die. Am I gonna wear his dead? Oh, now he's harvesting them. Great. Oh, can he even move? He must be so overweight right now. He's not overweight at all. He's still moving around just fine. Yeah, he is. Is he? I hope so. Uh, let's throw him on follow so he can follow us around. And I'll just make sure that he can at least move. By the looks of it, yeah, he's pretty slow though. Okay, so if we go ahead, disable the follow, enable the wander, let's see him work his magic. How long will it take to work? God knows how long it'll take. But he has his poop and make something out of it. I believe in you. And actually, uh, what I will do is take out some of the small animal feces. I'm going to throw him some large feces as well. And hopefully it's like speed. No, that is way too heavy. Wow. No, okay, medium it is. We'll give him medium. There you go. Okay, that's too much. There you go. Take that much medium. He's going to wander and hopefully ferment that into something useful. However, here's the thing about dung beetles. I'm relatively certain that you have them in a pen 
uh, full of your dinosaurs. They're capable of picking up smaller pieces of poop. That's what I mean by that. I mean, uh, well, of course, what I mean here is if we drop some small animal feces, I believe he's capable of picking it up. Oh my god, he has like little arms. Oh, that is disgusting. At least that's what I saw. Maybe the actual animal has the poop from it, though. Uh, so, I don't know. Do you have anything, any animals that do small poop? Because you can't pick up anything bigger. Uh, no? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and try to drop a whole bunch of just small feces in his path. And hopefully he will pick up one of these and uh, begin doing some work with it. So there you go, bud. Got a whole bunch of poop for you. I know you want it. Pick it up. No. Well, I know that was a feature. I can't seem to get it to work. He's inserted fecal matter into oil and compost, but only when wandering. So I don't know how long this is going to take. And uh, hopefully not too long. It probably takes a decent amount of time, to be completely honest. That could actually make a lot of sense. But uh, I can't, like, throw this around. Okay, well, maybe... I can throw it at him. Yeah, we'll persuade him to do it. I like that. Like I said, also, sorry about being all nasally. Uh, no, he doesn't seem too interested in picking it up. Okay, well, we might need to get an animal to poop it out, but that is one of the features that was listed in his dossier, which I can show you guys here. Go to our survivor profile. Uh, wherever the dung beetle is, probably the bottom, since he's a new guy. No. The crate has spawned. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, I got some mods on this world. I was about to be like, what the hell? Is there some special... Special event I don't know about. No, no, I'm just, I'm just really stupid. So if this music could stop loud, I get it. I get it. Crate spawn. Uh, yeah, that stuff's disappearing. Unless he picked it up. Maybe he picked it up. I'm optimistic, but no, he still has that stuff, which I don't know how long this is going to take. Uh, what I might do is do a little bit of a cut here and uh, show you guys. Okay, I get it. The crate has spawned. Relax, game. Relax. I understand. And I really hate talking with this nasally voice, especially because I got a runny nose. But god damn it, I'm gonna be showing you guys what is going on in this dung beetle. Cooperate! Why do you not cooperate? I just want some fecal matter. Or no, I want some fertilizer. And some of the other thing. Do I have to give you something else too? It says concern fecal matter and oil into compost. Like, do I have to give him some thatch too? Maybe? I'll just throw some thatch in there. Like, hey, if you need that, buddy, go ahead. So, I don't know. Maybe he's like a walking uh, fertilizer post and it's... And it's a quite a while, which is completely possible. So I will go ahead and return to you guys after some time has passed and let you know what is up. But that is the dung beetle. Uh, potentially get some levels and I can show you guys how his leveling up goes. But I will be talking to you guys whenever he decides to showcase his ability to make oil and fertilizer. So talk to you in a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm back. I did a little, little bit of looking into the forums, and I was able to discover a little bit of stuff, and pretty much what that is, is that uh, the feces, I don't, don't think human feces even works, but uh, the feces, it takes 30 minutes to convert one feces into a set of fertilizer and oil. I believe that the large feces, which I don't have in his inventory, but large feces will net you three fertilizer, six oil, medium, I'm gonna guess is two fertilizer, four oil, and then small is one fertilizer, two oil. And that's just going off what people were saying there, so I'll probably check back in a little bit later. But uh, people said that they can't be in stasis and convert poop, if that makes sense. So if you like log off with a dung beetle with like a bunch of poop in that inventory and you log back in, they were in stasis that entire time. So he's not going to have all of his jazz. So it, I mean, he'll, he'll still have all the poop, but he won't have his special products. Uh, which is unfortunate, but yeah, that's how it works. I don't think you need thatch, it's just flat out poop. And uh, apparently they, I was told that they eat spoiled meat as well after they're done being tamed. So another heads up with that, I guess. Uh, and uh, there's nothing for me to really fight with this guy. I want to throw him on fall loan. I just want to, you know, get him into a couple fights here and see what he can do as a fighter. So uh, if we can, Mr. Extremely Slow Dung Beetle, may I introduce you to Mr. Dragonfly. And, uh, please take care of him. Do your thing. Do your thing. Come on. Dung beetle. Okay. If he attacks me, will you do your thing? Oh, yeah. He doesn't really attack me, does he? Um, let's go to... Oh. He's been attacked. Take him out, dung beetle. What are you doing? Attack him. Jesus Christ. This bastard. He's just, he's just getting attacked and he's not doing nothing about it. Alright, fine. This is obviously an awful idea. Stupid guy doesn't want to level up. I just want to train you, Mr. Dung beetle. Yeah, he was hurt by that. And his food's going down to restore his stuff. Uh, by the looks of it, he's not interested in eating anything right now. He's gone down 30 food. So maybe if we hurt him some more, we can... Uh, let's not kill him, but just hurt him some more. So that goes up. If we can use his stamina. So I'm guessing if you were to attack or something, but I don't know. It's annoying. I wish you could mount him. That'd be really cool if you could have like a gigantic beetle. <gasps> Next boss. Gigantic beetle. Flings poop at you. Boom. 
I'm about to be printing money, Ark. Better hire me right now. Anyway, so that's how it works. Uh, that's how the poop works. I think that they might eat might eat spoiled meat afterwards. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check on that, though. So the best way of doing that is to have them attack something. And unfortunately, there is nothing anywhere. Uh, there's a Ankylosaur here. So if we want to see him die, sure. Help me out, Mr. Dung Beetle. Help me. Help me. Oh, no, that, that, that guy's stuck. All right, well, not much is happening there. He's still... Uh, healing up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stab you a couple more times, and then hopefully you heal up, and you learn your lesson of doing that stuff. So, yeah, let's go. Heal up the health, start draining that food, and show me what you eat. But, that's that's what I was told, and that's just what I'm gonna be going off of, that they eat spoiled meat, but you still do have to tame them with, uh, the poop. Because, I mean, I guess that makes sense, because they turn poop into product, so it wouldn't make sense to eat it, but... So, that's what I'm going off of, and the really cool thing about dung beetles is that they look badass. Look at that, like, they look like a goddamn karambit fade with that skin. Look at it. It is awesome what they do. I love it. I love it a lot. Looks absolutely awesome. And there are cooler colors, but still, those hands really freak me out. That is not an insect. That is horrifying. That's what it is. Uh, uh, it's so weird looking at insects that are so big. Just like... Imagine that as a leg. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, so that is the dung beetle for the most part. I don't think I forgot anything. Uh, if I did, leave a comment asking me about a certain feature of it. Uh, oh, yeah, it turns out that they can't wander and pick up poop. Uh, that part of the dossier is inaccurate or whatever, which really, really does suck. But that's eh, whatever. Gotta, gotta live with it so he doesn't pick up poop. And, uh... Yeah, other than that, that's about it for the dung beetle. That's our buddy. That's our friend. And uh, he's pretty much a amazing compost bin. And he can not only make fertilizer out of his compost, but also oil, and he's a living, breathing organism. So, really good guy. Uh, they're just kind of harder to tame because you got to find them in caves, and then you have to manage to get them out of caves while solely following you since you can't ride them or anything. So, uh, they can be a bit of a hassle to get out of caves, but still, if you got the time, get a couple of these and just throw all of your poop into them. And not only will we have a fertilizer factory, you will have an awesome byproduct of oil as well. But other than that, that's going to go ahead and do it for me. I'll most likely be making a Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon, however you pronounce that video, a little bit later. I'm thinking uh, I'll try and do it today, but I'm not sure how that'll go. Because I don't want to go insane due to this nasaliness. And I hate being nasally. <laughs> I really do. But I, I really want to get you guys some videos and show you how awesome... Uh, this update is. We still got a couple more things to show off. Like I said, the Metrodon. And then also, if I'm not mistaken, we got ourselves the beer barrel. That's right. Mm -mm -mm. We can make beer. So we're going to go ahead and uh, mess with that either in its own episode and the whole beer process or in an entirely episode after that. But really quickly, I'm going to wait for this dung beetle for his food to go down here to 1210. And that's when he should eat something, uh, whether that be spoiled meats or some form of animal feces. And he eats the spoiled meat. So, yes, just wanted to confirm that really quickly. So, yeah, that's all the info for the dung beetle. Go ahead and get some for your farm and let me know how you plan on using them because I'm always curious how you guys are going to use them. If you're just going to have like a giant room full of them or have them among your guys or whatever, it would be really cool if they could pick up poop, but unfortunately, they can't do that. But, yeah, other than that, that's going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video as always, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.